What's going on, everybody? Doc Average Gamer Guys, back. Escape series, another episode, jumping in. Shoreline is where we are headed. We've got our SV98, we've got our multi-tool, we've got a handful of keys that we don't really need, and then we've got our AKM with a suppressor on it and a couple of mags. I need to top up on some ammo here, but here's what we got. First of all, we're probably not doing most of our dailies. Our dailies today are absolutely terrible. With the kickoff of this, eliminate Killa three times. Not sure who they're uh, trying to position this quest for, but uh, it ain't me. Yeah. Uh, so interestingly enough, if we finish fishing gear, we'll get an Untar helmet. So we may actually be able to get this one done just like randomly. Um, and then uh, we have some pretty crazy find and transfers and our survive is for factory. So more importantly, we're going to try to do a couple of things today. Continue on with the Punisher series a little bit and uh, also continue on with some shoreline. So we're going to try to get that those items down for Mr. Peacekeeper, I couldn't remember his name, honestly, uh, and Shoreline. So we're gonna try to get both of these stashed. We'll see what we can do as far as Punisher, pick up some suppressed kills, uh, rig game. We've got to mark the cottages. So we're gonna try to do that to knock that one out. And uh, I think that's what we got. After that, hopefully we can have a success. After that, we may actually head over to Woods, potentially. Um, we gotta do a few things there or we'll give Customs a go and kind of see how we feel. So I'm gonna grab some ammo. We're getting to the rates. See there. Quick me back again. I also did want to quickly update. We did and spent a lot of money. So we're going to install some of our upgrades. So we got vents up to level three really quick. We've got lavatory up to level three once it installs. So that's nice. Some pretty good progress there. We're going to flip through here and just see what else are we missing? Generators got to go. I think we had something else on tap. Security's up generator we need the items we need him to level three i just did that don't know why i clicked on it again water collector question mark no we need generator up nutrition unit what, what, what was i waiting on here oh i need stash to go decent progress though to be honest with you um pretty happy overall we need stash upgrade, so that's probably the next big focus uh, for us because we've got a lot of the other stuff really rocking and rolling here. So now with that, we'll head to the right. See you there. All right, here we go. Let's see what we can get. Uh, great. I may move over and hit the snipers. Kind of take like a long way around. Typically what I would do here is kind of push that way, but I feel like the player encounter and engagement is going to be a little too high. And I could also use snipers. We could also roll through cottages. Get that marker down as well. And that would be good. We that, that would be good. That would be good. I 
think we have a spare AKM back from... I'm getting two here lately a lot. That's good. We get two. That one also fell, which is kind of nice. We got our marker, our multi tool. particularly need to push in for anything that one did fall so if you're having trouble if you're having trouble finding scavs for any of your scav missions specific to killing either snipers or um scavs on shoreline the snipers is a, amongst the best targets a lot of times you can get two uh, back here, and a lot of times at power, there's also two. Where did this guy fall? So you do need to be a little careful back here. He fell, didn't he? Thought he fell. Here he is. A little shorty, a little infantry sniper with a sight on it. Hold on. It's a sniper. It's this. It's a sniper carbine. That's interesting. Normally, you don't get an option to put. This is a. This is kind of a special, actually. A lot of times to get this the short five slot um, sniper Mosin that's the word I couldn't think of I cannot I must be tired I can't think of words today I can think of peacekeeper I think of Mosin um, in order to get that a lot of times that's just the infantry version that's a swap out on the stock and then got a sight on it it's pretty interesting The other thing is just to be mindful because so much of this map flows in towards the resort, right? So delaying some of your movement, this move I'm making back here, not to say that we can't run into players, it's very potential, but a lot of them have probably already pushed up to resort if that's where they were going. Now, some are not going to, um, but they'll probably go to some of the other points of interest, which should make this okay for us. I'm moving through here because I do want to kind of continue to work at least the scavs if I can. I was hoping to kill him before he fired. Being suppressed is an advantage if we want to we want to try to press if we can a little bit. Did not ensure the SV98, and they met. That may have been a bad idea. Not do that, but obviously you don't get it back if you place it. If you don't place it though, and people are kind enough and leave it for you, you can't get it back. It's kind of hit or miss. It depends how much money you have. Um, the other thing is, a lot of folks will do this quest at night. Um, because the placement of these two items is really puts you out there. I'd recommend that. We had a nighttime option. I just didn't uh, 
essentially was stubborn and didn't want to buy the night vision. So I definitely think this is a map at night, unless you plan to only go to the resort. You gotta have night vision. Honestly, just doing a quick sanitar check here. Also, I can't, the door is like right there. I can't see it. No, it's right there. It doesn't look open. I haven't seen sanitar in a while. We've been running a lot of shoreline, but not really pushing too much of the contested areas. I haven't been going to resort very often and honestly don't come here very often either. So, somewhat un what not surprising, I guess. Getting this down would be nice. Okay, cool. Check for the key here. May come back and hit the uh, the safes. At this point, though, I don't think that we worry too much about them. All right, one item down. Two there. Wow. What a shot. Oh, my. May have hit him. That was cool. That was cool. That's definitely sniper scav. He's still ripping rounds. Army almost wants him. wants him to stay alive so that we can kill him. Alright, my opinion, there's really two tactics for this quest. You either really take your time or you go super bold. Somebody's already been here, killed, and looted a scav. Kind of hoping people have moved on. We're going bold. Longest placements of our life. If we get sniped here, we probably deserved it. was yay okay well that's at least good as arguably that is the worst of the two items um one because if i get killed right now which hopefully i don't but if i do the multi-tool i still keep it because it's in my special slot so make sure that you're doing that this would be great to get both of these down knock this quest out Oh, that's so lucky. 
guy killed that scab, looted him, and then search this. Hello? What do I want to do? This. Okay. I'm thinking... I think it may be reset. Secure our progress, secure the win. Secure the little bit of loot we got. Got a handful of scavs. Try to maybe grab this other one at Scav Island. And maybe call it. Felt like I was high there. Which is interesting. Maybe I was. Maybe that's not quite 200. I guess. Probably. Probably somewhere in between. We take those. All right. Relatively quick raid. 17 minutes. 2400 experience. 150 actually. So I was a lot close. Little. Little. A little closer than I thought. Uh, this one was clean. <laughs> 233. That was nice. So we pick up five, which is actually really good. All clean, good headshots. That makes for a good set of experience here. Um, relatively accurate. Nice little shot there. And again, 2400 experience. We'll take it. We didn't really get much from the perspective of loot here. But the real main goal, to be honest, was being able to pick up and get some quest progression, which we're definitely able to do. So first thing first here, fishing gear, Mr. Peacekeeper, that is complete. This is good that we kind of get this rolling with him because obviously we need to continue on with getting some quest progression. We could actually sell some stuff and if we had the quest progression, he'd already be level three, which is actually pretty nice. So uh, we get a customs task here for marking the tiger, tiger vehicles, uh, which are these ones right here. We got three of those to go do. Fishing gear was complete. Again, we're going to grab the Untar helmet from him and uh, turn it back into him for the daily. We also get rigged game done, which is pretty nice. That opens up Night Sweep if we were level 50, just in case you were curious. And uh, unfortunately, it doesn't open up a whole lot. Now, the nice part here is we actually have quite a bit to be able to do on customs. So that probably makes sense. That's probably where we're going to head next. Uh, we might swap the gun out just to keep the suppressed AKM and uh keep things rolling with that but we got uh, chemical to do we can mark the the uh, tigers we can come over here kill some scavs um actually made some nice progress on this so we need four more we need a whole bunch of half masks so we're gonna need to be picking those up so we can kind of focus on that as well um jumping over there so um really quickly let me just grab G helmet grab this too Go back to Mr. Peacekeeper, find and transfer, Untar, found and raid. That was just really timely. So nice little extra bump from that. Plus, honestly, some stuff that we don't have to worry about. But some euros is pretty good. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to head to customs. See if we can get a few more things done. I'll make sure we got the right keys. And we'll see over there. I'm going to jump back in again. I hate to do this, but I apologize. But this is really important. If you are struggling to get the HK MP5 SD that you need for gunsmith task, if you can move forward and get to rig game and get that complete, you actually get one. So this is important. And uh, I'm actually glad I saw this because I'm thinking about uh, my hardcore account here, which I think we either have rigged game or we're close to getting it. But I just want to show this. This is the reward. And this is the MP5 SD that you need. You need a few additional parts, um, but you can use this one, swap the mag out, uh, put the uh, the mount on it with the laser, and you should be good to go. 
I'm I'm about a thousand percent positive. So do keep that in mind. If you're kind of struggling to get through some of the quest progression, a lot of people don't really worry too much early game about gunsmith. And this is a good reason why, because you're gonna be able to get 80% of the solution uh, from this quest reward, at least for gunsmith part two. So keep that in mind if uh, you were looking for that and uh, thought I'd throw that out there. So hopefully that was helpful. All right, we sopped over, got rid of the AKM, went to a different silenced weapon, interestingly enough. Um, we're gonna go this way. Unfortunately, two of the vehicles that we need are not in great positions. They're not really positions we want to push right away, being honest. We got their PP-19. We got that Luger CCI ammo from a skier for that quest reward. Rocking that. So two of the vehicles I need to mark are right over here. And contemplating making these moves because there's quite a few spawns right over here and actually in, call it streamer room, the warehouse with the uh, double upstairs. Scav. Hmm. That's like an okay sign we could pull over that way. It's not great though. great position but we'll hold for it I'd like to get these two down and we can move towards cust or <laughs> customs wow I am tired dorms I get over to 220 Side of rocks here. Just don't want to get beamed. We'll push into gas after this, I think. So we get this one down. Scav for sure. Ooh. 
Ooh, sniper scav scared the shit out of me. You sniper scav making me poop my frickin' pants. So we do need scavs as well. I'm really not super concerned about that. Did he hit this already? I kind of rolled this way. We're slow rolling it a little bit, which again is not a bad thing. Double diaries. That's that's kind of nice. Thinking about actually going into two story. Doors closed. A lot of shooting at bus. Saw somebody over there. Not a particularly good key, unfortunately. Cabin key is not bad. Don't need it, but. Not particularly a position I want to be in. I didn't hear anyone. And that side was already looted. Came and just ran safes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a rare item. He's right here. One of the rarest, actually. Those Kappa hunters out there. back up top we'll come out two story we'll jump in the side of three story or we'll just walk up metal to be honest and uh grab 220 and maybe head towards the last tiger try to get out of here
Where's their filing cabinets? He's got to be on first floor. Maybe. He's in there. I, I honestly don't know what room has filing cabinets in it. Sounds like two. That was clean. Initial wasn't great. Rest of it was though. This guy came in with the ketter and did the work. We'll give him all the credit. this instance it makes sense <clears throat> to repack this full mag it's going to take me less time and honestly what i probably do here is just ditch this I'll just have to work the two mags got one of those keys already this that was nice that was a good fight took us a little while to dial this thing in on the head we needed a headshot for sure we got it there Twenty. This is not a bad room. Um, I probably said that at some point before opening it up, but this is not a bad room. Duffel bag jacket. Usually never hit. Got two items here. We need this. We need this letter. It's 
It's a 30 rounder. M62 in it. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna swap that out. Whoa! What? Where is this guy? That what? What? Guy voiced before seeing me, which is a little weird. Out we go. So I'm kind of hoping this vehicle for us is going to be uncontested. I heard a lot of fighting over here. And what I'm assuming is fighting over by Ruaf as well. Normally I would say if you were confident, you could plant this and then move. I'm just going to make sure this gets down. One, so we don't lose the marker. Two, um, we don't have to do this again. We'll just hit this, make sure it's done. I might even actually pop in to construction here and grab that scav. Although getting out probably, we should prioritize. Let's just get this. Let's just secure the win, I think. Hit a scav or two on this way, head it out. A handful of items we need too, it's kind of nice. Trying to play this smart here. I mean, I'm taking it. That's two good raids. Not bad. 21 minutes, another 2,400 experience. Two headshots. Killed that player. Killed the scav. We hit this guy a lot. <laughs> we hit him a lot before we ended up killing him. We'll take it, though. We're making our way. We're pretty close to 24 here. Okay, loot-wise, we actually didn't do too bad here. Uh, we pick up some diaries, which will be nice. A couple of keys, which aren't bad, but the diaries are going to be great to sell to Peacekeeper. We're honestly going to sell probably the vast majority of this. I doubt there's good ammo in here because this looks like a scav gun. Yep. Uh, we do get the Ketter, which I am a fan of the Ketter. We'll see if we can hang on to that or we'll end up selling it. We do pick up 28 rounds of M62. We're going to throw that right away. Nice thing is we got a couple of also quest items in addition to our actual quest items which is pretty cool so let's go ahead and let's get those turned in first so we'll head down to signal we get a pcb which is good we get those done and we get a g phone which is also solid so now we need rechargeable batteries and g phones i may look we need to look to see if we can make rechargeable batteries um so we'll look to try to do that which would be great uh, Peacekeeper will go ahead task wise. We get Tiger Safari done. Decent rewards. Nothing crazy, but decent. It keeps him moving along. It opens up scrap metal. We can now go mark tanks back at shoreline. So kind of bounce back and forth just a little bit. I was talking about the SD 
before uh this is another way to get it opened up and get it unlocked uh is uh getting scrap metal done so do keep that in mind too if you're kind of again struggling to get that or struggling to find that for your gunsmith task keep that in mind i also want to just quick so we did get the one there we didn't get any half mass but i didn't really see any scavs except for right there at the end and then um mr skier we got chemical part two complete so we get both of those done this is great again if you're looking for hideout progression and you don't want to buy the tnts you're going to get a couple of them um so try to get to chemical chemical get that done and that'll help with security now we can head to factory we can get uh chemical filled syringe here complete and uh, we can keep moving on and we want to kind of chemical is another good one to progress the big reason why is the opportunity to um get some pretty decent rewards as far as quest rewards based on what you can turn in uh later on down the line so we want to move that it looks like with our level ups we were able to get this therapist leveled up which is pretty nice pretty pretty nice we'll take it we'll take it so she is at level three um not much else to do here besides grab some things i'm gonna get unpacked here i'm gonna try to make them space and we'll see if we can get a scav raid in um we'll see how lucky we are we'll see you in there all right we are in what mose man oh piece of candy right off the rip there and we got some ears i didn't see how much time we had 22 minutes Here's the unfortunate part about this. I need tech stores, you know? We're not gonna probably get samples done. Clearly somebody looted this. We're not gonna get samples done. I still need a dang get rid of these almost feel better with the shotgun to be honest take that we can sell that <sighs> I need half masks Really need tech stores. We need the tech loots. G phones, chargeable batteries. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do here. I'll go the long way around. I honestly didn't know you could find a melodonin right there, so that's pretty cool. It's got a good, uh, it's got, like, the full complement of stims. I found morphines and, like, propotols on there before. Never a, uh, never a melodonin. I'm almost tempted to take that. We need it for the stash upgrade. could just take it and leave. I don't particularly love or hate this plan. The ratchet wrench and the cat statue... We actually like have some decent money on us, interestingly enough. Xeno actually is all right as well. Hmm. What 
what to do, what to do. I don't want to be greedy here. We've had such a... See, I'm gonna jinx it. We've had such a good night on Tarkov as well that I feel like... Finish off with a solid scav run here. Nothing crazy. Just a good run. We also have time. I'm going to swing the back of this, I think. I seem sussy. I hit the computers back here. These haven't been touched. I thought that was a dead guy. It did, honestly. It really did. I think this would top us off on CPU fans, actually. Look at how many we need. We only needed two or three. Max Energy. sense I think okay I think maybe I just uh, pop a few of these tool chests open right here where it all looks kind of looted sells that well this is an easy 10k just even to the trader spark plug right there don't know that we need those might need them for car repair but pretty, pretty consistently can find those without too much trouble I think we get out now that we got the CPU fans we get a little bit more quest progress for that I think it makes sense. 
roll Emmercom here. All right. So maybe we can finish this off successfully. This was a good episode. We didn't die. <laughs> Oh, man. So here's the thing. Okay, I could take that. There we go. Made it work. Min-max, baby. Okay, so we're going to wrap up here. Really happy with the progress today. A lot of quest progression. We got three survives, two on our PMC, one on our scav. We actually made a decent chunk of money. We could have made more money. Um, the thing that I'm really kind of keeping an eye on is making sure that I'm spending the time to sell things to Peacekeeper here. So we're gonna continue to kind of churn through some quests. We're gonna continue to kind of flop back and forth. Probably a lot of customs and shoreline. We'll definitely be getting some woods in there to do some other things, but definitely wanna keep kind of at least doing one raid each episode here for a little while on shoreline. That way we can continue with the Punisher quest line and we can keep going with Peacekeeper here a little bit. Um, but the big thing is always going to be with him. Make sure you get the money spent. You don't have a ton of use for dollars, at least initially. So it's kind of hard to justify that. I also obviously need to continue to work towards that 2.5 mil mark for the stash upgrade, which is probably the biggest blocker that we have right now for hideout progression. But we're going to keep chipping away at it. But we were able to make some money. We're back over the million mark, which is pretty nice. And again, we were able to sell uh, probably about 3K worth of stuff to Mr. Peacekeeper here. The other thing to take a look at to continue to kind of move him along is we could start running some umps. Um, very good weapon. Don't think I need to talk too much about that. But we can grab the umps. We can put some basic mods on it. We can start running the sound suppressor as well. And then... We are able to get match FMJ, which is just really good overall ammo. So if we do any closer range stuff, we have some factory tasks that we need to do. This might not be a bad option for us to just buy that and then kind of spend the money and the dollars that we earn through selling stuff as well. So we'll keep that in mind. Overall, though, like I said, really happy with the progress today uh, to get that stuff done on Shoreline, to be able to go and get everything marked there on Customs to then be able to push us back and get a few things. Not not a ton of action in this one we had some nice snipes uh with our akm there on a couple of scabs we had that one good fight in dorms other than that relatively quiet that's not necessarily a bad thing we'll take that especially when we're able to get a lot of stuff done so uh like comment subscribe quick plug thank you so much appreciate the support continue to enjoy the series i'm continuing to have some fun and it's nice to kind of be pushing through on a couple of things so thank you so much for that we're going to keep pushing through on our hideout progression here as well and uh try to make that a focus so uh again if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please consider it really does help us out and uh we want to continue to grow the channel and that's a good way to do it and then you just clicking on the video and engaging with us any way that you can if you don't want to make a comment totally fine we appreciate a thumbs up every once in a while uh if you enjoy it so thank you so much flash some socials twitter twitch discord tiktok links in the description come follow us 9 9 30 eastern standard time friday saturday and sunday we're on the streaming thing so give us a follow over there come check us out we'd love to chat with you and uh yeah run some raids have some fun we're gonna be doing some fun things over there uh at, again we're we're one item away from kappa at, as of this recording so i'm hoping i can get that here pretty soon and then uh, once we get the kappa container all the all the doors uh and the wheels of the vehicle fall off and we just go and do some silly things uh, so hopefully you enjoy we got some other fun content coming up especially next week so make sure to stay tuned to that we've got a one of the most one of the best videos i think i've ever recorded uh at least moments for escape from tarkov so you're not going to want to miss that and it was actually a really fun uh video outside of that so um be sure to stick around check out some of the other content thank you so much i've been doc we are the average camera guys as always thanks for watching catch you in the next escape video Peace.